Hey guys, it's Mike from Indie Development, and we had a question on the website about adding how to add local multiplayer to our Android Tic Tac Toe application that we made uh, in the previous uh, videos in the series. So we're going to expand the series to cover how we can make a initial starting uh, screen as a one player button, two player button, and exit game button. And depending on what you click is what um, what kind of game you'll go into. So here's the old app that we had. You notice you just click on that and it goes right into just a game. You'll click the and then the computer will move and we'll let the computer win here. You'll see it says Android 1. Next time we start this game you'll see that the computer went first. So then we'll go first or we'll go next and then of course you know if they win again it'll increment that and it'll keep going until you exit the game. What we're going to look at doing now is go ahead and open up the new one. It's going to come up to a menu like this uh, if you click on one player, you'll see the button did light up as you press it. I'll show, we'll go over how to make the custom buttons as well. Uh, and it's just like before. You click, it shows who wins. Um, new game. Of course, the next person will go like so. That window increment. Now, if we go back and look at the two player, we'll hold the button down here for a second, see how it lights up. Now, say player one's turn. We'll click, now it's player twos. We'll click again, player one. So we'll just go ahead and let player one win. You'll see it increments to player one. Also, you'll notice down at the bottom here, not only did the, this label change, uh, these text did, this text did as well. So instead of saying human and Android, it says player one and player two. Um, we can go ahead and start a new game. It'll stay in the two player state. And we'll let player uh, two win this time. So player two wins increments that and of course the tie does work as well well I guess I won't again but anyway the tie will work Let's see if I can do it right this time there we go it's a tie so you'll see that everything's working just like we want it to and of course the exit button right here which says exit game you click on that and it'll take you out of your application so let's go ahead and get into how we're doing this in this uh, video we're going to cover a couple things first thing will be how do we get the images into our project show you how to add those in and then from those images we'll show you how to make uh, create some custom buttons and then uh, after that we'll add our custom strings in and that should be it for this video uh, the next video we're probably going to look at making our, our new layout for the main menu like we just saw. Um, then we'll look at making the, the skeleton code for the, uh, the the menu screen. And then we'll update the manifest. And then from there we'll start to actually program the new logic and everything like that. So let, uh, let's go ahead and on the website if you go there you'll see the images. These images right here that you can download. Once you download them, you can just copy them. And we'll go back into our project here. Open up your resources folder. And drawable, you'll see uh, that we have three images in there already from before. Uh, we'll go down, hit paste. And you'll see that it put all of our new images in there. So now what we need to do is right click on drawable, go to new, Android XML file. First one we'll make is the one player button name it whatever you want and we'll go down here click selector click finish and now you'll see that we have a selector made here in the XML now we just need to add some items to it and the items are going to be you know uh, how we're going to draw the button so we'll do item android drawable equals and then we'll do the at drawable because now that we're inside the drawable folder here and we're going to want to use one player down. So we'll do one underscore player underscore down. And let's go ahead and put what state this is for. Android state pressed equals true. And then instead of doing it like that, we'll just close it out since we don't need to put anything in between it. So go ahead and copy this. Oops. Paste it twice here. 
The next one is, uh, that we're going to be looking at is focused. And then we can delete this on that one. Because this is going to be, it's just a, it's regular state. So if it's not, you know, being pressed or it's not got focus or anything like that, it'll actually, it'll be drawn with this image here. So let's go ahead and copy all of this. Control A, Control C. Go ahead and save the one player button. Right click on Drawable. Go to New. Android XML file. And we'll do two player button. Scroll down again, hit selector, finish, control A, control V. And now all we gotta do here is change this to two. Change this to two. Change this to two. Save that. Right click drawable again. New Android XML file. Name this one exit game button. Down to selector once again. Finish. Control A, Control V as in Victor. And we'll just highlight one underscore player here and make it exit underscore game. We'll select exit underscore game. And we will, we will replace one player with the exit game. So now we'll save that. So now we have a button for the one player, two player, and exit game. And if we go back into our emulator here, that's simply going to be the one player button, two player button, exit game button. And we're going to have a state for the um, for when it's pressed and when it's focused. So like if you press it, you'll see it lights up. Okay. So now we have those. The next thing that we want need to look at is go ahead and we'll add in our custom strings that we'll be using in the program. So we can shrink that. Go down to your values here. And in your strings, uh, it may come up in the resources view like this. Uh, I don't, I don't really like to put my strings in this way. You can, but uh, I like to use the XML file here. Now, so what we're going to be using uh, that's going to be different here is right now we have a thing that says, you know, your turn, Android's turn for the single player. We also have a thing that says, you know, you want Android one for single player. And we have our labels here that go next to the, the scores of how many times you've won for human and android. We need to replace, not really replace, but duplicate these and have some different uh, values inside of them. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll kind of keep them together here. We'll highlight this one. Go right below android's turn. Paste this in. So we'll do turn underscore player underscore one and we'll put player one now you have to escape the apostrophe by one's turn and we can copy this paste it just change the one to two okay now we need to go right here where the winds are we can highlight the first one copy it Paste it, result, and we'll place human with player one. And we'll do player one wins. Copy this line, paste, change the one to two. Okay, and now let's go down here to where we have this. We'll highlight this and copy. So instead of human, we want player one. So we'll do player one. Like so. Now we can copy this one. And you can put this at the bottom as if you want, but I'm just kind of keeping it together. So instead of Android, it would be player two. So we'll go to player two. Okay. So now we have our new strings in, we have our custom buttons made, and we have our new images in. So we're, we're ready to get started on our, our new layout, um, and that'll be in the next video. Looks like we're already about 10 minutes in, and the layout may take us a little bit to put together, so I don't want to go over on time. So um, we'll get to that in the next video. I hope you guys uh, 
are enjoying the series and I hope that you are looking forward to seeing how you can one way that you can implement local multiplayer uh, into this app. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks.